All right, let's get started on part three of Revolving Tuesday. Um, pretty much, since I said this before, just another reminder that this commentary is actually not live. This commentary is actually recorded half, like pretty much today when this video is gonna be going up. Uh, this gameplay though, it took place like two months ago. This was before Evo. So, like, I'm not some bandwagon guy. <laughs> I love Tira since the beginning, once you gave Evo 3. Uh, let's see here, ranked match, we have a Templar. Okay, this guy, like, whenever people play these types of characters that, you know, know every fighting sound, they switch it up every round by by randomization. It's either, like, you know, say, hey, I don't need, like, you know, like, I can beat you with any character on this cast. It's kind of like a confidence, like, you know, confidence and intimidation, because you don't know which fighting style you're going to be up against, and how good this guy is at all of them. Now, since the first match, this is actually, uh, yeah, this is sick for you. I always have this intimidate. I always already. I already have intimidation with like the people that have the bigger weapons because of their range. It's like I can just like you know stand back a little bit farther than usual, and I'll still get hit because their range is that good. Yeah, see, so just get owned just like that. Fight. <laughs> All right. Then we have. I think this is oh, Miss Rudy. Yeah, this is Rudy. <laughs> Uh, all I gotta do is just get that mo momentum, like a hit and a grab, and then momentum builds up. That's I guess that's the way that I work. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. I love that taunt. And so, like, yeah, I know after each round, if I'm not in the gloomy state, I have to press like on Xbox 360 B and A. I do the taunt, which kind of goes a kiss to the wind, and she goes in the gloomy state. I gotta do that like, every round because like gloomy state is so like so much better. You can get way better combos, way better damage. And my armor broke. <laughs> uh, four. Fight. You know, you downside the gloomy state, you take damage. That's some of the hits that you do. Like the, the hit that I just tried to do right there. So bad. Oh my god. Yeah, I was. I was lucky that I actually punished on that. Two. I can't believe you didn't block that. The I was like that. I was like one well, success that like blinded me already. <laughs> All right. Oh man. Alexia. He got it. He got like, two more. There you go. <laughs> There's nothing else you can do. Ah, that's. Sad way to go out. <laughs> really sad way to go out. You almost had me. Yeah. If I, had, if I landed that grab, I would have got ring on you. <laughs> oh well. All right. Well, pretty much we're gonna go on. This is probably gonna be the last match of the episode. Um, if you guys are in the Soul Calibur Five at all, believe me, man. My game attack is Alphonse. Just so send me a friend request. Send me a message saying, "Hey, sorry, you nice guys for the win. I'll be more than happy to play a few rounds with you." Alright, uh, I think this last match is up against a Raphael, yeah, um, this, this, this character of Raphael that I'm gonna go up against, he has, like, a more fluid type of gameplay, more fluid than Lexia, and the thing is though, he can actually just, like, all of a sudden interrupt himself and actually fake me out, therefore he messes up the rhythm, but it's in, it's in his favor. Do not delude yourself, right. thou wretched fool. Battle 1. Right. I think that like back in like my second high school, I actually, I think my, both my high schools, I actually uh, managed to get involved in fencing of, on some sort of level. Oh, man. I guess like uh, if I yell, I always, I tend to treat him like Lexia even because like of his like attack and a similar sword. See, just like that. Come on. Oh, uh, you want to taunt me? Fight. Oh man, I have a history of taunts. <laughs> I think like the down forward uh, vertical is actually probably one of like Tira's very safe moves that I can probably just immediately grab after like I get blocked. Oh man, it's horrible right now. Come on. Oh man. I guess like another thing I like about um, Soul Calibur 5 is that. Um, when you counter grabs and you see and you're up against a opponent that does very grab heavy, 
even if they counter the grab, they still take a little bit of damage. And it's that little bit of damage that can make a whole big difference. That's a very sick combo we pulled off there. Oh, Gloomy State time. Two wins. That's what I'm talking about. I thought I'd get the ring out there, but uh, I'm, I'm going with the damage right now. Yeah, so it's like either I can do the um, you can either do like the down for down forward uh, vertical back horizontal and then critical edge, or I can just do it straight off the launcher. And then one of my other bread and butter combos I love to use. <laughs> oh come on, you can do this too. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh um, man. Uh, and then like my block meter is reset. Oh wow, I thought I'd still stay yellow. Oh god. Oh. I think I was trying to aim for the down bow launcher. Oh man. come on. Yes. Go. That was such a desperate attempt at that move, but it was worth it. And we end with an achievement. Oh, how good is that? Alright, well, that is it for Evolving Tuesdays. Uh, if you want to see a different fighting game other than the ones that i played so far, please leave a comment below. Uh, like the video if you did like it. You can even dislike it if you want. Uh, subscribe button is at the top. And I will see you guys next time. So this is Alphonse Zeus, your host from Nice Guys for the Win. Game hard, play nice.